Hi Derek. Um, congratulations on your 2,500 subscribers. Um, so these are my entries. Um, I hope they're things that you haven't seen or I don't think they can show them in the DC before, so uh, fingers crossed. Um, first up is uh, this one here, um, Ellie Manette um, and Shell Invaders Steel Orchestra. Um, the guy in the middle here is uh, Ellie Manette, um, and he is basically responsible for um, the steel drum as we know it today. Um, it wasn't for his hard work, um, they would probably all be playing with uh, old paint pots and tin cans. Um, so, maybe not the rarest or obscurest um, record, but historically um, probably pretty important. Um, it is on. Um, this yellow and silver RCA Camden label. Um, so it's a it's a mono uh, mono copy. Um, I think the uh, the stereo versions are on uh, red red and silver label. So Secondly, we have um, this album here again. I don't think this has been shown. Um, this is a band called Whale Feathers. Um, they're a kind of blues, psychedelic blues rock. Um, I think this is one of the, the rarer, I mean the Blue Horizon label is quite cool anyway, but I think this is one of the rarer, rarer, rarer albums off the, uh, off the label. This one's got a whole lot of sticker damage there. So, but it's a, it's a good album, um, some great drumming in it, um, you know, it's maybe not necessarily your thing, but it's, it's a good album. Uh, and finally, um, this one, which is um, a portrait of Janice's Harvey. Um, this is a, another British folk. Um, somewhere in a similar vein to uh, Pentangle or Fair, Fairport Convention, probably more pe Pentangle. Um, just a female um, folk singer. And this one is Another charity shop find. Um, I really have got this. Um, because she looks so miserable on the cover. I thought anyone that would make an album and look that miserable on the front of it probably deserves some help. Um, but it's cool. Um, there's a really good version of the. Uh, um, Killing Me Softly on this, and uh, also Chances plays uh, an auto harp, which is a really cool instrument for anyone who likes that kind of thing. Um, the Myth album is on Westwood Recordings. Um, 
which, like the transatlantic label that I'm a fan of, um, is one of these albums that has all the album information on one side. This and um, a nice big logo on the other side. So I always pick up anything that's on this Westwood label now if I see it. Um, generally, for the most part, it's a, it's a country label, so it's not always up my street um, because I don't like country. Um, but I've got many, I don't know, half a dozen to a dozen things that I've picked up in charity shops over the years, um, with varying results. The covers are always quite amusing. Sometimes the photos are out of focus, um, and the recordings aren't always of the best quality. You know, sometimes they're live, and they've just been a, a pretty standard live concert, and they've recorded it, and then... Uh, it on vinyl, um, but I do like that label. So, um, so anyway, those, those are my entries. Um, things that I thought you might be vaguely interested in. Um, I could have shown you some definitely more obscure things, like uh, I've got this that I wanted to show, um, which is um, an album to celebrate. Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, the o Oman National Day celebrations from 1977. I presume this is the Sultan of Oman, right, but it's all kind of like marching bands. Tank in the front there. Show me a great Oman is, and there's a picture of the man himself, a little contemplative, whatever the word is, and uh, another tank. Yeah. Um, but it's just a bit silly. So anyway, that's seven and a half minutes, so um, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll be having a great time. <laughs>